has had the most cuts of all the city departments as a direct service delivery department, but I think people should have an understanding of that because if there's less of me, there's less of me serving the people of uh, Parkdale, and you need that direct service delivery uh, in your libraries. So my question uh, for Anne tonight is, uh, you've talked about the introduction of the self-serve technology, and again, the library union is not uh, opposed uh, to the self-serve technology, but we do uh, dispute the over-aggressive uh, uh, introduction of it, and how can you say that the uh, self-serve technology is not a uh, is not going to direct um, directly affect uh, cuts to library service when you're losing that many frontline staff? Uh, well, this uh, what well, what our experience with the self-service uh, checkouts is that about um, 75 to 80 percent of the checkouts migrate that way without staff assistance. So what we are doing and what we've done the last <coughs> couple of years is use that efficiency to be able to increase open hours. And what we're being asked to do next year is to uh, not increase the open hours. So we are confident that we have the resources to handle the, the checkouts and to use the staff to work with customers uh, as needed in the branches. And we would not be proposing it if that were not the case. And we are also committed to uh, any reductions that happen uh, as to happening through attrition. And that's our commitment. Maureen, um, if I, I, want to, I want to be fair to Anne. Like uh, the staff position initially, as far as I remember from watching budgets, I was on the budget committee last term, was that uh, where there are efficiencies from things like automation, that that would be put back into paying staff to work extra hours so we could be open longer. Um, this change uh, that we actually just take the efficiencies, meaning people not working and libraries not being open and making that into lost hours is new and that's not the staff. I'd suggest if you want to take that up rather than taking it up with Ann, the vice chair of the library board, Mike Foderick is here. He actually gets to make those decisions and just has to implement them. Well, ask him. Yeah, ask him. She does and I don't mean to put her on uh, the spot, but um, I just wanted to clarify that uh, point. It gets lost in the media from our perspective. And I just want to end by saying I've, I've spoken to Mr. Potter several times. And yeah, but we haven't so. heard what he has to say. Oh, no, that's fine. And I just want to end by saying I am not an efficiency, and nor are the other frontline workers. Thank you.